take, every single drug that you take, except painkillers and aspirin, they increase your blood sugar. Every single drug is diabetogenic, of which cholesterol lowering drugs are the biggest diabetogenic drugs. All the world's wars put together, first world, second world war, third world war, everything. Because the minute you take the drug within a week, you take a muscle biopsy, you are first class, but take a muscle biopsy. Australian doctors have done this. Your muscle is already damaged. Whatever drug, cholesterol lowering, all drugs the same, cholesterol lowering drugs. And we created this ghost called cholesterol. It's not a disease at all. That's why I said, more the merrier, I tell them. Higher your cholesterol, the better because you live longer. You will never get cancer. Of course, you will not have a heart attack. And if your cholesterol is below 300, you must be worried. This is, this is the problem because simply think for a little while. I want you to think for a little while without looking at the television. Because television, you see, I was a very healthy man till the other day when I went to my doctor and I found cholesterol very high. I would have died. Now I am on X drug and I am very healthy. 100% untruth. Churchill said, advertisement is a legal way of lying. Did you get that? It's a legal way of lying. So that even Karthike and Saab can't arrest you because you are legally right. But you are ethically wrong. Look at this week's Lancet magazine, one of the most prestigious medical magazines. The front cover says, although statins kill and produce diabetes in one person out of 200, looking at the good that it does to the world, this is nothing. But you look at that very seriously. Look at the paper inside. You know what it says? If a, any country, people take this drug together, the incidence of new diabetes, mind you, you are not a diabetic, incidence of new diabetes goes up 10%. Which means, which means, in the last 10 odd years that this drug has been in the market in India, it has produced 250,000 diabetics in this country. Two and a half lakhs of people. Then on the other side, there are a lot of researchers in Madras who every day make, make up a paper saying that whole of India will be eaten up by diabetes. Absolutely untrue. We are making diabetics. We are manufacturing diabetics by our drugs. Diabetes is not uh, coming just like that. We manufacture. Every single drug that you take, every single drug that you take, except painkillers and aspirin, they increase your blood sugar. Every single drug is diabetogenic, of which... Cholesterol lowering drugs are the biggest diabetogenic drugs. Now very interesting thing comes. You look at this research paper in the Lancet. This is written by eight quote unquote thought leaders in America. Thought leaders. You know, they don't think. That's why they're called thought leaders. What did they write? They took a meta-analysis. They took 13 studies in this world, which included 4 lakhs and 35,000 human beings. Having taken this drug, Okay, to see how many of them have worked on diabetes, etc., etc. That's not our concern now. I have told you what it is. But in the paper, you have to declare your conflict of interest. That is, when you write something, do you have any interest in that? Karthike and Saab understands that because he is an authority on this. Now, very interesting. Front page says, conflict of interest, none, N-O-N-E -N -E in capitals. At the end of the article says, we are grateful to about 100 companies of which all these assets are on the payload. They have shares. They are getting millions of dollars called lecture fees. You know, an ass like me, I go around lecturing. I get no fees. Maybe I'll get an airfare and a good hotel. These people get millions of dollars. You know, per day, I have, I have gone to a meeting in London, which I came out because I didn't want to be a part of it. They promised 2,000 pounds pocket money, 2,000 pounds pocket money per day. Multiplied by 80, a first class suite in Dorchester Hotel, which is the most expensive hotel in UK. And up and down, for you and your spouse, first class fare. All that you have to do is write a nice paper saying that drinking a little alcohol is good for health. 